like butter. Destroys your blade, makes your life easier. There you go. Man, this is so easy. That's the whole point of these videos, isn't it? Right? See you in the next one. Peace out. It's time for some bass smashing action. Okay, so this is just gonna be a quick one on kind of a homemade uh, grit reamer solution. If you've ever built your own custom rod, you know that in order to bore out this hole in the center of, of a piece of cork, you need what's called a grit reamer. A lot of times a grit reamer looks something like this. And there's this grit that's kind of glued to it. It's not on there real well. This is great if you have something that the grit reamer fits in easily. Problem is that this is the smallest size grit reamer that I can get from Mud Hole Tackle. A lot of times the cork comes with holes in it like this. This barely fits and what I've actually done is taken a brand new grit reamer, rammed it in there, pushed it all the way through and as it's coming out the other side it's completely bare. All the grit is coming off of it. So I found a really easy solution for this. If you have just a little just a little screwdriver. This is a little craftsman. Okay, there's my hand for comparison. If you take this guy and you get some of this stuff, this gator grip, traction tape, and you take a very small piece of this and you wrap it around the screwdriver, you can use this stuff as a grit reamer that fits right in here and you can get these holes started a hell of a lot faster than you can wrecking these things. Once you get it out to where this guy fits comfortably, then you can go to town with these bigger ones and you can get to that a lot quicker. Again, just a little screwdriver, piece of grit tape. I actually put this on the runners on my truck because every time I had to get ready for a meeting and I wore dress shoes, I would go to climb in and that plastic would get so slick. It's lasted a year and a half at this point on there, so I'm really, really pleased with this product for other stuff. But just to take a little strip of it and wrap it around a screwdriver is plenty to get, uh, get a piece of cork started on a custom rod. It's just a simple trick save you a lot of money in the long run. You'll have a bunch of this stuff to use on other things around just wherever, the truck, the house, the RV. It's good stuff to have. And then you can, you know, just buy a couple of these and they'll last you a good long time. So there you go. Save yourself some money. Thanks guys. Hey, I wanted to give you a quick update on uh, the bullhead. Remember the bullhead video we did? Clean the fish tank this morning. These guys are happy and healthy. And they're really active right now. And you can tell their bullhead, if you look at their tail, it's very flat. Channel catfish, they have a little bit uh, lighter skin usually and they're spotted. And their tail comes to kind of a fork. So they're definitely bullhead. Bill's not in here anymore. It's not the same without him. There's Fred, the miracle fish. He pretty much rules the roost. He's been the boss for quite some time. Dude's a beast. They're, uh, they're doing good. They've been there for about a year now. Kids like them a lot. So yeah, they're doing good. Thanks.